Hey everybody, Hanku here with my live reaction for Tower of God chapter uh, 345 or season 2 episode 265. So uh, yeah, we're finally at the hidden floor now and uh, I guess time to see what everybody's doing this time around. We have Rack and Kuhn looking forward to a real reunion between the two of them that uh, we started to get last week. Uh, we gotta see what's going on with Yu Hansung and Bom and how Bom's gonna react to this whole thing. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start reading. The hidden floor inside the quarantine. Sorry, I cut the little uh, beginning part a little bit short, but I kind of just I want to get into reading because I'm uh, pretty excited for this week. It looked like some kind of turtle or something in the thumbnail. No clue what that's going to be. Uh, the hidden floor inside the quarantine area. Now we got some art, setting up the background. Bomb and Andrasi on the ground. Bomb wakes up. What the? Where am I? Am I inside the hidden floor? You're awake. I can't believe you slept like a baby, even in a situation like that. Yu Hansung's walking up. And <laughs> Bomb, <laughs> the, the one panel of him, just shook. Hi there. Huh. Hansung, oh, I'm just gonna say Yu Hansung. That's much, it rolls off the tongue much more easily. Yu Hansung, and we see those little soldier things from before. Hmm? Bomb, what are you looking at? You hadn't son. Haha, <laughs> you son of a bee. <laughs> I see, you both know me. I don't know you, though. <laughs> I love how it's past you, Hunts. Like, I don't know who you are. You don't know us. Nope. You must be bomb. And judging from your pin, you must be one of the hard's princesses, right? W wait, what's going on here? Nice to meet you. Looks like you probably already know the outside me. Have a warm cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm the data of regular Yu Hansung. Oh my god, I love this. I love seeing people when they were regulars. Question mark, question mark, floor. The Hell Train, Hidden Floor 2. The, the data. The data of regular Yu Hansung. What's that, says Andrasi? Do you get what he's saying, Bomb? Yes, this place is an imaginary space within the so-called Hidden Floor. I am a data human, the data of the past of a person named Yu Han Sung, someone you know. What is this bullcrap? So you really don't. That's right. I don't know who you are. But I've known for a very long time that you would come here, so I snuck into the quarantine area and I've been waiting for you. You've known for a long time that we would come here? Yes. H how? I'm not sure. It's a kind of intuition. I've heard... er... It's like I heard it somewhere. We'll save the talking for now. Er, we'll talk, save the talking for later. For now, let's go. The guards will be here soon because of all that noise you made before. <laughs> and Jesse just throwing the uh, cup away and Bomb is pouring his out. <laughs> Neither trust you on some, even as a regular. At the same moment, the beach where Kun and Hockney landed. And then we see the girl watching the sea monster there. And Rack is yelling, TURTLE! <laughs> R Rack! Finally, the reunion. Turtle, you came! You, Rack, what are you doing here? Every everyone. Just so happy. What happened? Huh? There was a tremendous flash, er, there was a tremendous flash, then when I came to my senses, I was here. Huh? A flash, and then you were here. That's right, there was a flash because of that insane turtle's attack. Then when I opened my eyes, I was here. I wondered if I'd died and come here, but I guess not. Then how'd you guys get here? You're not dead, are you? He was attacked, and when it came to his senses, he was here. Does that mean there are more passages connecting this place to the outside? What on earth is going on, thinks Goon. But why are you the- er, but why are only you here? Where's the black turtle? An a, a talking alligator? I have to draw this. <laughs> Hockney is over in the uh, background drawing. He was with us before, but we lost him when we came here. Don't really understand what's going on. But anyway, I'm glad to meet you again, alligator. Hmm. I missed you. Not you, the black turtle. Still as noisy as ever. I wouldn't mind if you weren't here. Then now, let's get out of or let's get out of this filthy beast right away. How? So far, I've kept trying to throw my spear at him from the outside, but I can't pierce the bastard. Didn't even think of going inside him to attack. You're finished, you beast. I feel like this guy's stirring up a hornet's nest. I'll pierce right through your belly and escape from here. 
Ha! And he just throws his spear at the wall. Oh, and I think it actually worked. Okay then. Simple enough, I guess. Well, what's that? Something's coming. What well, is that? Stomach acid. It looks dangerous, Sock me. <laughs> and you can see his little drawing of Rack down at the bottom. Crap. Run. So, they're all trapped running from stomach acid. And looks like they get barfed up. <laughs> sea monster is coughing. Spat them out, says the girl still watching from the shore. I'd better go save them. Goliath? God damn it. Hey man, I almost died because of you, stupid alligator. Phew. I have to protect my picture. <laughs> Hockney's underwater, just his arms holding the picture up. I really thought I was going to succeed that time. It's so damn tough. Didn't even budge, even after being hit by a mad shocker from inside. What is that thing? Warriors, warriors! And the girl is riding on a turtle. Are you alright? Who? I'm a wandering minstrel who's going to guide you warriors. You can call me... Me... Aum. A wandering... what? A wandering minstrel? Okay, so obviously the way she says me eum kind of makes me think it might not be her real name. So, still mysterious to who she is. Okay, sea monster is uh, not having a fun time right now. That's actually... I really like that panel of uh, Kuhn looking back towards it. It's a really cool looking panel. Is... Is it gone? Looks like we're still alive. I make it to shore. Well done, Goliath. And she tosses a treat to it. Ah, thank you for bringing us here, Goliath. Have a safe journey back to the sea, says <laughs> Hockney, <laughs> talking to the turtle. <gasps> What's he talking about? I live in an apartment. A super fancy one. <laughs> and the turtle just stood up and walks away. <gasps> so, this thing isn't normal either. I have no idea what's going on. We got swallowed by a beast as soon as we came in here, and now we're at some beach. Er, then we even met you again, Scoon <laughs> thinking. Excuse me, are you also warriors who came here after clearing the train? Warriors? Yes, we call people who clear the train and come to this place warriors. I'm a wandering minstrel whose job it is to lead the warriors here and record their adventures. Hmm, that means this must be the inside of the hidden floor, right? Right. I'm glad that you get what I tell you, unlike Mr. Alligator. But you sure came here in an unusual way for people who've cleared the train. Most people are summoned in the town, not through that door over there. Huh, really? I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it's because we didn't clear the train first. Sorry. Well, we can't just stay here like this, so would you hurry up and lead us somewhere? I need to change my clothes and have a shower. Ah, then would you like to go to the town? The town. Yes, it's right over that mountain. Most warriors gather there. Looks far. What? Er, what do you mean? I'm not leaving until I beat that monster. Srack, I object. There's no running away. Shut up, alligator. You can't even make a scratch on it. Well, for now, let's go. Maybe we'll be able to meet them. <laughs> Poor Rack looks sad as they all walk off. So me, Eum, are you guy? Er, are you also the data of someone who cleared the train? Nope, not me. I'm composed of data generated from this place only. There are lots of generation data created independently here like me. Ah, so there are a bunch of NPCs. Hmm, I see. So you're saying that all this is fake, this data? Yes, except you guys who just got here. Everything here, including me, is data. Amazing. But since I was born and grew up in this place, I don't want to call everything here fake. From the blades of grass to the trees to... To the dewdrops, everything here is real to me since I live here. That makes sense. Ah, and be careful. If you make a mistake here, you might end up running into your sworn enemy. Sworn enemy. Okay, good. We finally get to know what this is. Yes, all warriors who have looked at themselves in the mirror before coming here have their own sworn enemy. In order to prevent your power from having an excessive influence on this place, one enemy equal to you is generated. Okay. So it's not going to be somebody they know, it's going to be like an NPC generated to be their equal. Most of the time it's a powerful enemy that you've encountered or a rival that you wanted to defeat. Okay, so it might be somebody he knows then. Really interesting. 
And do those silhouettes look like Prince and Akraptor up there that they use for this? Okay, that's really cool. Just so you know, Rex Warren Enemy is that monster from before. What? <laughs> Sometimes people with a very strong sense of identity create a monster that they've never even met before. So he created an enemy that he can't even beat, thanks Coon. That good for nothing excessive sense of identity. <laughs> anyway, you had better be careful. If you try to upset the balance here, your sworn enemy will appear before you. Although there are also cases where someone rushes at them first, like Rack. So that means Hockney and I also have sworn enemies like that monster. Wonder what kind of enemy would appear. I'm nervous. So I'm betting probably like Coon's father and uh, maybe Hell Joe would be Hockney's. Okay, now we see uh, back to you, Hansung, Bomb, and Androsi. Bomb, are we just going to keep following him? We don't have a choice, do we? They're whispering back and forth. We don't know anything about this place. Hmm, that chick is... Er, Still, that chick is super suspicious. If he really is Yu Han Sung from back when he was regular like you said, then how on earth did he know that we were coming? Makes no sense. That's certainly true, but I have this feeling. He doesn't seem like he was waiting to hurt us. What do you mean? And then we see uh, some cracks coming through the floor. Pathetic. And then he just uh, demolishes the soldier before it can even attack, really. Looks like the guards have already been deployed. We'd better quickly move. Er, yeah, we'd better move quickly. Where'd that thing pop out of, Andrasi thinks. He pierced straight through the eye and needle of an enemy, who was hidden behind a brick wall with absolutely perfect aim. He may be irregular, but he's definitely powerful. Come to think of it, you guys must be here to meet young Zahard, right? H how did you... I could tell right away. But, unfortunately, this is the quarantine area of the lowest floor. It's the furthest place from where you can meet him. Is that so? But don't worry, I'm going to help you guys now. Bomb, he's definitely suspicious. Of course, there are very specific conditions for leaving this place. And aside from a few safe areas, we will be constantly chased by soldiers here. But don't worry. Er, but don't worry too much. I'm very strong. Of course, there's someone that even causes me a bit of concern. It's your sworn enemies. Sworn enemies? Yes. When you entered this place, you saw yourselves in the scale's mirror, right? In order to balance out your coming here, that scale summons your sworn enemy in this place. I wonder who Bomb's sworn enemy will be. Maybe Joaquin? It looks into your past and summons whatever you fear most here. Ah, whatever he fears most. Maybe like a really strong version of Rachel? Or maybe it is Joaquin. No idea. W with Bomb, it could be anything, I guess, really. Yeah, with Andrasi, maybe another princess or something. Could be your rival, something that you fear down deep in your heart, someone you long for, or even, very occasionally, there are cases where it even summons yourself. Ah, the current time is 11.20. We have um, the original Juvial Grace from the beginning of Volume 2. The sworn enemy for regular 25th bomb has been generated. So we have Juvial Grace now. Your sworn enemy... Well, I mean, I guess technically Bomb is Juvial Grace. Has currently been put in quarantine here. You must eliminate your sworn enemy in order to preserve the balance of this floor. Understood, then. That's actually really cool. I love the setup of this. And I hope we get to see everyone's sworn enemies, because that'll be really cool. But I have a feeling for, like, Boro, it would be Joaquin. For Sachi, it would likely be Joaquin. For Bon, if it wasn't himself, I would say the closest thing to a rival he's had so far is Rachel or Joaquin. It's like just a thousand Joaquins. Everybody's, um, he's everybody's rival. But, uh, yeah, either way, that's it. I'll review it tomorrow. But uh, I love the sworn enemy system we have going here and that there are different places like the beach and the town and uh, the quarantine area that we're going to be journeying through. I love seeing young Yu Hansung, and I'm really excited to see who else we could see data copies for. Uh, seeing NPCs here is cool, and who else could be who we could see as sworn enemy copies or whatever. Like I said, we could maybe see Kun's father as a sworn enemy data thing. So, uh, yeah, either way. That's it. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, like if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my live reaction to it and all that. Um, subscribe for more. Tell her if you've got much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I'll try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. That's it. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you all next time.